Good morning. Uh, my name is Ashley Williamson. I am the Community Engagement Manager at Women's Employment Network. Um, you are at the KC Virtual Job Fair. Um, we are um, media sponsor. Our media sponsor is Hot 103 Jams. Women's Employment Network is a nonprofit in Kansas City that helps with personal and professional development and financial coaching, as well as case management. So if you need any of those services, all of our services are free. And you can start by going to kcwen.org. Uh, there you'll find all of our information and you can get connected. Uh, so we host job fairs every year and this is our first virtual job fair. Uh, so welcome everybody. Um, I want to make sure that you have the opportunity to ask your questions. So uh, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a chat box. And in that chat box, if you just click that, you can ask your question and we will make sure to answer it. Um, all of these recordings will be available on Women's Employment Network YouTube page uh, with um, information about how to apply in the, um, in the description of that video. So you can continue to watch and share these for the next two weeks. Um, I will also be um, giving out a survey to everyone that attends. And that has a specific area where you can click the companies that you are interested in, uh, put your email in, and I'll make sure that uh, the recruiters get your information so that you can reach, uh, they can reach out to you. Um, so I am going to pass it over to Tessa with Community America Credit Union. Uh, Tessa, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, so tell us a little about Community America Credit Union. Yeah, so um, we're a local credit union here in Kansas City, um, headquartered in Lenexa, Kansas. Um, we have 32 locations in the Kansas City area, one in St. Louis, uh, over 230,000 members nationwide, um, offering a wide variety of financial solutions, both on the consumer side, um, commercial side, and then also wealth management, so financial planners as well. Um, and even though we are headquartered here, our, our member base is, is nationwide. So very uh, a large credit union, largest one in the Kansas City area, and we are growing every year. Um, also voted one of the best places to work this year. Excellent. And what about, tell us about your experience with, uh, with working there. Yeah, um, so I started, um, it'll be two years in September. Um, I was recruiting at a, another organization prior to Community America um, and was very happy there. But when this opportunity arose, uh, Community America is one of the companies I've always wanted to work for. Um, growing up and being from the Kansas City area, you constantly hear about Community America's involvement with the community, giving back to the community. Um, now we're also uh, the financial partner for the Kansas City Chiefs. So great time for that as well. And so when this opportunity arose, you know, that there was a senior recruiter position there, um, I went ahead and applied and um, was fortunate enough to get the position. And, and since then, um, it's, it's lived up to everything I thought it would be. Not only is it a great company um, that really cares about its employees and members, but also um, the community as well. Excellent. So it sounds like there's a variety of positions available in several locations in Kansas City. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what is available now? Yeah, so we do have a wide variety of positions available right now um, across the credit union, primarily in our branch and contact center. So we have branches, um, what we consider like our East region, which is going to be the, the Blue Springs, Lee Summit, Independence, Raytown area. Um, we also have openings in the Overland Park, Oasa, Shawnee area, and then up north, you know, by Liberty. So really, if you live anywhere in the Kansas City area, we're going to have a branch close to you that will work for you. And those, those positions primarily are like personal bankers, so helping our members come in, open up accounts, um, get, get their credit score up, help with loans, mortgage loans, car loans, things like that. Um, we also have a more entry level role, which is like a teller. So helping our members when they come through the teller line um, with their transactions. And then we also have our corporate office in Lenexa, and that's gonna house more of our back office positions. So, so IT is hiring right now. Um, we have a director of private banking right now. So really anything and everything. Um, I would say majority of the openings are gonna be that the branch level and contact center. 
um, but we also have positions in the back office as well. And so it sounds like there's a variety of different positions, the um, backgrounds and educational backgrounds of folks, um, wide range. So can you tell us a little more about um, those entry level positions? What kind of background and characteristics are you looking for in those? Yeah, so the nice thing is um, we're, we don't have a very specific background that we're looking for you know really we're looking for a type of person so if you're someone who doesn't have a four-year college degree that's okay um, you know maybe you have experience in the retail side because we look for people who have experience with sales or customer service um, and we feel like we can train you on the banking side of things or the financial side of things so um, you don't have to have a degree a degree is always great but that doesn't um, mean that you can't work in one of those positions in the contact center or branches, um, really just looking for someone who cares about the community, who's looking for a long-term fit. Um, we have very little turnover, and that's because we make sure on the front end, whoever we're hiring, it's a good fit for them, it's a good fit for us. So someone who's looking for a stable position, not just any job. Um, and then someone who uh, likes to work with the, with, with the population, because you are having a lot of face-to-face -face interaction if you're at the branches. If you're in our contact center, you're having a lot of interaction over the phone. So those are really the attributes we're looking for. Um, we don't get hung up on degrees or what your degree was in. Okay, and um, it sounds like you guys offer training. Is that training paid? It is, yes. So everyone that comes on board, um, we have training pretty much every two weeks. Um, so we have a lot of flexibility on when we can get people started. And that training, um, if you're starting at the branches or contact center, it's about five weeks in length, all paid. And it's a combination of classroom training where you're learning about the credit union, our history, the products we offer, systems we use, things like that. And then the last two weeks is gonna be more shadowing. So whatever position you're coming in at, you're shadowing with someone who's in that role, getting a good idea of what your day-to-day -day is gonna look like. Then following that fifth week is when you officially start in your position. Excellent. Um, and so when you are hired to when, um, to, can you talk about um, part-time versus full-times and benefits that are attached to this? So we really don't have a lot of part-time opportunities very often. Um, occasionally we'll have seasonal opportunities, but for the most part, every single one of our positions are gonna be full-time. Um, with that comes full benefits. Um, we have great benefits through Blue Cross Blue Shield, uh, Medical Vision Dental, anything you can think of we offer. And those kick in very quickly. So let's say you were to start, you know, June 27th, those are going to kick in July 1st. So no matter when you start, it's always the first of the month after. And then also a great thing is our 401k. We have 6% matching and then there's a discretionary percentage at the end of the year. So we can go all the way up to eight and a half percent. Excellent. Um, great. So, um, how does, tell me about the hiring process. Um, what is like, how does someone send in their resume? How do they find out what positions are available? So if you go to our website, um, kiwiamerica.com, you'll click on the About Us tab, and then the career page will be an option for you to choose. And then once you get to the career page, there's a nice video that highlights our culture, tells you a little bit more about what we're about. And then you can, there's a couple ways that you can search for jobs. You can just search for every job we have available. Um, you can search by local location. You know, if you're wanting to stay on the Missouri side, um, you can search by department. So if you're IT, you can only look at IT jobs. So there's a lot of different filters that you can add in, and then it'll bring up all the positions we have available. Um, really easy to apply. You can apply with your LinkedIn profile. You can upload a resume, um, and then it goes either to myself or one of the other recruiters. We review it, and we'll reach out to you directly. Excellent. And sending in a physical copy of their resume or are they filling that in on the application? Online, yes. Okay. So everything's online um, and it is actually, we just switched systems last year and it is a much easier process. You're not having to fill out 10 pages of information um, where you lived 10 years ago. Like it, it's just upload your resume. Um, once you do that, it actually auto fills a lot of the information for you. And then I would say the application process should take no longer than 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, excellent. 
Um, and with the interview process, what does that look like now? Because I know things have changed a little with COVID-19. Yeah. I would assume it's telephone or video interviews. Is that correct? Yeah. As you can probably tell, I'm still working from home. Um, I'm eight months pregnant, so it's kind of precautionary for me right now. Um, we are starting to, to move people back into the corporate offices and our branches are gradually reopening. But with COVID, there has been some changes. So the interview process has always been the recruiter reviews the resume. Um, if we feel like you could potentially be a good fit, we're going to send you an email to set up a time to talk. So we'll set up a, a 30 minute phone interview. Following that interview, we'll share those notes with the hiring manager as well as your resume. Um, if it's a good fit and they want to you know, move forward in the process, then we would set up either a video interview through WebEx or a face to face interview. Um, we are starting to do face-to-face -face interviews only by appointment at the branches because they have the, the offices and the space to allow for that. Um, for corporate, we're still doing virtual interviews at this time. Okay. And do you have any tips for people doing those virtual interviews? <laughs> yeah, um, similar to what I did today. <laughs> you know, I made sure um, to, to log on early, make sure, you, you know, there's no technical issues. Um, if you have access to a laptop or a desktop, that's much better than a phone. I mean, if all you have is a phone, that's fine, that's understandable, but it is a little bit easier when you have a laptop to be able to, you know, talk like this. And sometimes the service just isn't good enough with cell phones. Uh, make sure you're in a quiet place with good reception. Um, treat it like an interview. You know, you're still going to want to dress to impress. So even though you might be doing the video interview, you know, from your living room, dress like you would if you were going to meet with the hiring manager face to face. Um, I always tell candidates to have a notebook with you with questions written down, ready to go to ask the hiring manager because once you get into that interview, you'll get nervous, you'll forget what to ask. And it's always good to be able to jot down notes as you go and then um, have your resume in front of you as well. So you can, if you need to go back to the resume and point something out or follow along with the hiring manager. Excellent. Yeah, we had one um, that we interviewed uh, in, a previous, uh, in a previous chat and they said that they interviewed a woman who had, um, who had a lot of kids and she needed a quiet place so she did the interview in her car <laughs> that day, but it still worked because uh, she had a quiet interview uh, the whole time. So yeah. uh, being creative with that. Um, so we have a couple questions. Um, one of our questions um with the with the impacts of COVID-19 uh there's been a lot of layoffs so how is uh Community American Credit Union doing? We're doing great um and, and that's another reason why it's such a great place to work is it's very stable it's local but you know we're a large company and we have over 800 employees and um they truly do care about their em employees you know when this all started back in march we actually had a training class of about 10 individuals who started that monday and then i believe it was announced on tuesday or wednesday that we were sending everyone virtually you know going home so from that monday until we started bringing individuals back which was last week we tried to do as much with that new training class as we could but there's only so much you can do with the documents and with them being brand new, but we still, you know, still paid them their their full wage. You know, we we knew that they had a lot of them had put in two weeks' notice and had left another position to come over to Community America. Like they were our employees, and we wanted to take care of them. Um, and that's how we've continued to to work through this entire process. Like it's new for everyone; it changes every day. But you know, we we sent out a survey to all of our employees: Are you comfortable coming back to work? If not, you know, we try to work with them to where they do feel comfortable and make it possible for them to work from home. So um, I think as far as layoffs, we haven't had any due to the virus. I don't foresee us needing to have any. Um, and we've had little turnover as well, which, which is great. Um, so for, for um, someone that is getting hired, um, where and when uh, are credit checks um, for, uh, for new hires done? Good question. Um, so we recently last year implemented to where every new hire gets a, a credit check done. Um, it used to be only certain positions, but now we do it for every single position. And that is done um, post offer. So we verbally extend the offer, the recruiter will. 
And then we go over, you know, some of the stipulations, one being, you know, background check, credit check, and account check. So um, background check is pretty straightforward. Um, account check, if you're a member of the credit union, we make sure that you're in good standing with the credit union. And then there's the credit check. Um, it's not a hard pull, so it doesn't affect your credit score in any way. Um, and what we're looking for, it's not a certain score, so it's not, hey, if you're 550 or below, you can't work here. It's, you know, this is how many accounts are in collections, if they have any at all. Um, and then we have stipulations on, okay, if there's so many or more that are in collections and what's the amount, is there a pattern here to where, you know, maybe putting them in a role where they are financially helping our members make good decisions. It doesn't make sense if they've struggled or are currently struggling with their own financials. So at that time, if, if there is something that comes back, we let them know um, and they're able to show us that they are working to get out of collections and we kind of just take it on a case by case basis. But to answer your question, it, it's post offer and it's done um, when the background check is done. Okay, thank you. Um, another question here, um, how does senior leadership demonstrate flexibility and adaptability? Great question. Um, and I think that's been huge for the last three months and right now, you know, six months ago, um, probably not as much flexibility as you would see right now. Um, you know, six months ago, pretty much everyone went into the office every day. There were very few individuals that had the ability to work from home or that had a flexible schedule. Um, having gone through COVID and, you know, 90% of the workforce working from home during that time, it showed leadership that, you know, this is something we can do. In a lot of cases, people did a, a better job at, in their position working from home, and it makes more sense from a space capacity as well. So we are looking at ways to, you know, once this all resolves, hopefully soon, um, we, we're still going to look at working from home, flexible schedules, what that can look like, not because of the virus or anything like that, but because we've seen that this is something our employees want. Um, from a retention standpoint, this is something we need to look at, and it makes sense for the company as well. Right, and I think that working from home uh, is just dependent upon the position that you're taking. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's you know, it's hard for our branch folks. I mean, they you kind of need to be in the branch to help members. Um, but, you know, for other positions like myself in recruiting or contact center where you're taking calls, some of our back office positions, you know, it does make sense to potentially look at a work from home. Yeah, excellent. Um, another question, uh, what are Community America's important values? Great question. Um, you know, for us, number one it has got to be doing what's best for the community and giving back to the community. Um, we feel very, very strongly about that. Um, everything we do is for the betterment of the community and our employees. Um, we do things we don't have to do, but because it is something that is best for the employees, we're going to do it. Um, a good example of that is we have a, a health stipend that we have that goes out twice a year, and it's just an amount of money that's added to your paycheck. But the idea is that you use it for something that's healthy for you. Like last year, I went and bought a Fitbit. Year before, I got some running shoes. It's just a little added something. Um, we're also a non for profit, so we give back to our members in a profit payout and we also get back to our employees in a profit payout. So I think number one value would just be caring and giving back to the community um, and, and always doing what's best. You know, what kind of sets us apart from some other organizations like ours is, you, you know, at the branch level, you're gonna have sales goals, but at the end of the day, we want you to do what's best for the members. So if someone comes in and, their credit score is not that great and you could sign them up for a credit card but their interest rates going to be crazy high we don't want you to do that you know we want you to do what's best for the member and that runs through the entire company um, another thing is that our executives are very visible they're very hands-on and you're not just a number you know you're an employee they know your name they want to know about you and and that's great as well excellent um it sounds like um there's, there's a lot of branches, there's a lot of different positions available. How does one, um, and can you give an example of this, um, how does Community America support uh, growth and leadership so that they can 
move up in positions within the company? Yeah, um, good question. And we highly promote from within. So the idea, and I'll, I'll give you an example of what we call our tellers are called retail branch associates. And that is a great position to come into the company as an entry level, you know, learn our processes, learn our products. But the idea is that within a year or so, everyone's a little different. We want you to progress to the next level up, which is a personal banker. Um, when we're hiring individuals for that teller position, we're trying to see, okay, is this someone who could be a personal banker? Do they have aspirations for growth? Um, we're not expecting to hire someone and just have them be in that role indefinitely. Um, we highly promote from within at the branch level and, and there's a very clear path for that. Um, other um, departments as well. Um, we always want our, our people to do what's best for them. And our managers are great about that. You know, if they have an employee that's interested in moving departments, I mean, we just had this last week, you know, our number one contact center employee got a promotion. And, you know, when, when that hiring manager reached out to her current manager, he gave a glowing review because she's awesome. And he's gonna, you know, hate to lose her, but that's what we do. We want you to get promoted. So that that's highly promoted within the company. And um, we even have like a, a program, a shadow program where if you're interested, let's say, I decided I wanted to move over into wealth management. I could go shadow for a day and figure out if that's actually something I want to do. And that's something that we allow you to do um, and get paid for. I mean, you know, you're on the clock, but you're going and shadowing. Right. And um, again, I encourage everyone to um, go to the either the Q&A or the chat uh, Q&A. You have the opportunity to uh, ask a question anonymously. Uh, but you can also just type it in the chat. Um, so we have a question. Does Community America have any diversity programs in place? We do. And um, that's a very timely question as well, because we actually just met on that yesterday on ideas on how to grow that, um, ways we can enhance it, make it better. So short answer is yes. Long answer is yes, we do, but we're working to improve it as well. And that is something that is a very high priority for us right now. Um, so anything else you'd like to add? Um, we still have uh, a little more time and I'm gonna make sure that people have the opportunity to ask any questions in the chat. Um, what makes um, Community America, and you kind of went over this a little before, but what makes it different from other credit unions in Kansas City? You know, I think, and, and to kind of elaborate that even more, not just credit unions, but banks in general, financial institutions. Um, you know, I didn't know a lot about credit unions coming into this position. I had heard, uh, you know, obviously of Community America, I knew it was a great company, but I didn't know credit union versus bank what's the difference? Um, and I think it's good for people to know that we can offer all the products that a bank can. Um, and a lot of times it's at a lower interest. So just because it's a credit union doesn't, doesn't mean there's less opportunity than if you go and work for a US bank or a Bank of America, there's just as much opportunity, if not more. Um, especially on the wealth management side, you know, that's a relatively new area for us and we're able to offer a lot of things on that wealth management side. So just getting the word out there that we're more than just a credit union, we're more than just the consumer side. Yes, we have checking and savings, but we offer a lot of more products than just that. Um, and I would say another main difference is just, I know a lot of companies say they, they care about their employees, they care about their customers, um, but this is the first company I've worked for that truly does. Um, a great example of this is, Every year around Christmas, um, you know, the president has like a five days of giving to the employees and every single employee every day gets a present. And it seems trivial, but it's something so exciting to look forward to. And it's a way of, again, giving back to the employees because they care, you know, she doesn't have to do that, but she truly does see, you know, the employees as an extension of her family. Um, I mean, this year we got a Mahomes jersey, which was great. Um, you know, a gift card to a restaurant for those who struggle during the holidays, you know, with money or with meals. So that's the one thing that for me that sticks out is just they truly do care about their members and they truly do care about their employees. Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, another question. What is Community America's thoughts on ageism? 
You know, I coming from the I came from the staffing world, you know, agency side prior to going corporate. And that was something um, that did come up quite a bit when I was in the agency side of things, you know, making sure, you know, don't go for, too far back on your resume. You know, the hiring manager doesn't want to know that you graduated in 75, you know, things like that they, they tell you about. Honestly, with Community America, that does not come up. Um, and as a recruiter, that's our job as the recruiting team, the talent acquisition team. You know, our managers trust us that who we put in front of them is going to be qualified and can do the job. So we are the filters for that. We're the ones that say, you know, I don't care when you graduated. I, I care about your work history. I care about what you're looking for in a position. Is this a good fit for you? Is this a good fit for the company, regardless of age? And it's our job to make sure that the hiring manager sees every applicant that's qualified, no matter their age, no matter their race. I mean, that's our job. Thank you. Um, and again, if you are interested in checking out their positions or applying, um, it's really easy. We have the link in here, communityamerica.com slash careers. If you just click on that, you'll be taken to their site and you'll see all the different positions. Um, as Tessa was saying, there's entry level positions to higher level positions available at all their different branches. Um, and you can send your resume there. Um, another thing that I'm going to do is send out a survey to everyone that's attended uh, these workshop or uh, this virtual job fair. Um, you have the opportunity to click on the companies that you're interested in following up with, and we'll make sure that uh, Tessa gets that information so that she can follow up with you. Um, so thank you, Tessa, so much for joining us today. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for taking the time. Um, this recording will be available at uh, Women's Employment Network's YouTube um, sites, and we'll make sure that everyone has uh, the link to this information. We'll send out an email that has that survey link and has a link to all of the YouTube recordings. So um, again, thanks, Tessa. We hope you have a great afternoon. Um, up next, we're going to have John Knox Village. You as well. Have a good day.